Welcome to another unit in this course on social network analytics. This time I'm going to talk about betweenness centrality. Whereas betweenness centrality in some cases also referred to as intermediation centrality. And it goes back to ideas of Freeman from the late 70s. The idea between, uh, behind the betweenness centrality is simply the relative share of how often a specific node lies on the shortest path of any of the other nodes in the network as compared to all possible shortest paths in the network. So it's a relative measure, it's a share, a share which theoretically could take values between 0 and 1, because it's zero if the node only lies on the shortest path which start or end at the node itself. And it's one if it's always a part of the shortest path. However, this is usually not the case. And it's also a question on, well, what's the reference number for all shortest paths? So let's state this here. Let's start with the scaling. So with what number of shortest paths do I have to consider? In this context, I have to consider that I'm not counting the relation from A to A. So no self-references. That's the first thing. And I always have to exclude the node itself. So the reference basis for a directed network, therefore is n minus 1 times n minus 2, whereas n is the number of nodes. And for undirected networks, it's actually just half of it. Well, the idea is relatively easily explained because the full network, if I include self-references, would be n times n. If I exclude self-references, I basically exclude the diagonal elements of the adjacency matrix. So here I have n times n minus 1. And now comes into play that I said, well, the node only counts if it's on the shortest path between any other two nodes. So I have to reduce each of the ends by 1 again. So n turns into n minus 1 and n minus 1 turns into n minus 2. And this gives the two numbers of reference I use here. But this is only one idea. I could also expand this and say, well, theoretically, this could lie between 0 and 1. But I could also normalize this. Normalization as in I send the minimum value to 0 and the maximum value to 1. This will assure that my nodes always have a minimum value, always have a maximum value. However, this could be quite misleading if the values actually are pretty close together, all of them. So, however, that's the basic idea behind between us. How often is the node on the shortest path bet between any two of the other nodes? It should be somewhere between 0 and 1. Let's have a look, because this is actually relatively calculation intense, because we need to know all shortest paths in the network. And that's something which usually you don't do if your network is larger like three or four nodes. So we need to have some kind of computer assistance. Thereby, we're going to use Gephi for this and have a short look on how we can get the betweenness centrality with Gephi. So let's switch to Gephi. And here I have two networks. First off, I have an undirected network. And the second one is a slightly smaller but directed one. So let's start with the undirected version. 
Whenever I want to calculate the betweenness statistics, I go to statistics. I can activate this with Windows if it's not active yet. Go to statistics. And then I consider the third point, network diameter. If I click here, he offers me an option of normalization. However, well, I will just click this. This doesn't really normalize the data. Why? Well, we see in a moment. If I go here, he tells me about the distribution of the betweenness. He tells me also about closeness, harmonic closeness, eccentricity. That's everything I don't need at the moment. But before I close this, I want to mention that here we also have an interesting number where we also have like diameter and radius which tells us like the furthest from one node to another is five and here if we start with the middle node it's basically on maximum three to the furthest. However I find the last value even more interesting and that's the average path length because this tells us how long on average, it takes to get from one node to another. This gives us a good idea how easy it is for information or anything else to travel through the network on average. Well, once we push the button here, run the statistics, we can go back to the data table and in our node lists, we get those four statistics we just calculated. And well, remember that I checked normalize. Well, if we look here, it's a bit unordered. So let's click up here twice. So we see the lowest value is zero. Well, that's nice, but the largest value is 0.57. That's clearly not one. So it doesn't really normalize this in a perfect version. Let's instead have a look what happens if I do not click normalize. So if I leave it like this, same numbers as before, more or less, then here it looks slightly different. And well, I'm not really sure what he calculates at this point because it should be a whole number if this actually is how often it lies on the specific num um, shortest routes of any others. So I cannot say why we get decimal numbers here. But the interesting thing is, it's still, and it's still the order as before, everything which was zero before is zero here as well. So we see in this case, usually you have some zero nodes which are not part of any shortest path except for those ones where they are the starting or the end point. We also see that, well, the distribution is more or less the same as before. What I would do is I would take these betweenness scores and then normalize them by hand because this would be the surest way to assure that you actually have a statistic which is really normalized meaning which really covers the interval from zero to one. Well that's how it looks like if you work with the undirected network. Let's have also a look on the directed network. Well if I do this here it's basically looking the same with the only exception here. I can decide if I want to use the distances as they are directed or I use undirected version of this network. Again, I can select the normalized version. If I just use the normal version, same statistics as before. Go to data table, notes and get my information here. Well, while I mentioned that 
it might look strange having these numbers in this case if we compare them with the results we get here we might get some additional insight in this because in this context the betweenness means only this node only the three is part of any shortest path where it's not itself part of the um, network and here the two make sense because this would mean it's two times on the shortest path and well so that's again the comment i mentioned that i would always use the unnormalized version and then later normalize them myself well that's then everything there is on this unit about between the centrality so i hope you enjoyed listening and so far i say goodbye and see you next time